breeze blowing and boy does it feel good all right let's see what we got here and that's wet that's good and this one's wet and that's good. It means we're catching stuff. And of course this one is wet. And it's dripping. Alright. So now I guess I need to uh, stuff some more down in there. And tilt it back up. And these rags don't smell that heavy in gas. In fact, that one smells like it's just water. So there's that one. All right. I've got three more dry rags. Let me get them prepped. Okay, I've got that pushed over to the uh, starboard side of where I can feel the angle of the bottom of the tank. And we'll lower the bow again. Since I have realized that the access hole, the fuel sending unit hole that I'm working through is more towards the right hand side or starboard side of the tank in that nine and a half inch wide very bottom section, I've decided I'm going to cock the left side of the trailer up, the port side, a little bit, which will help keep all of the liquid in the tank over on the starboard side of the tank so that it's easier to access. Okay, I am once again stuffing rags in through the fuel sending unit hole. I just put my first one in. dip the bow we'll see what happens okay let's see what we've got I'm gonna get my 
pull lines in the right order. That one is pretty dry. It's about as dry as it was when I put it in there. It was slightly damp when I put it in. That's a good sign. Let's see, here's number two. Sitting there waiting to come out. And it is pretty dry also. Yay. And number three. Again, another dry rag for all intents and purposes because they weren't totally dry when I put them in. And the fourth one. Same situation. All right, as far as I'm concerned, all of the, or the majority of any water that's down in that tank is out. And that is a good sign. It is a real good sign.